Bonjour tout le monde. Alors, aujourd'hui, je me suis réveillé puis je me suis demandé si tout ça n'était qu'un rêve ou si c'était vraiment la réalité. Il a fallu que je, je me pince, que je prenne deux cafés, parce que j'aurais jamais cru, il y a dix ans, au moment où le Parti libéral prenait le pouvoir en 2014 et commençait des rondes d'austérité dont on dont on souffre encore aujourd'hui, j'aurais jamais pensé que ce parti-là, dix ans plus tard, à partir des banquettes de l'opposition, viendrait critiquer, en fait, l'austérité du gouvernement qui l'a suivi. C'est incroyable. J'en reviens pas. Euh, J'étais là en 2014, dans les manifestations, j'enseignais au collégial, j'étais aux premières loges dans les services publics, des couples qui ont euh, affaibli durablement l'État québécois et les services publics à la population, euh, qui ont rendu des gens plus vulnérables. Et, euh, et aujourd'hui, ben, je me bats encore pour ça, maintenant à partir des banquettes de l'opposition, mais aujourd'hui, dans l'interpellation qui va y avoir lieu, menée par les libéraux, évidemment, mes critiques vont aller de deux côtés. Parce que ce que la CAQ est en train de faire, c'est l'austérité libérale. La recette qu'ils sont en train d'emprunter est la même, nous l'avons déjà vue. Ça commence par des coupures dans les livres, dans les bibliothèques, dans les achats de livres, et je crains que ça mène à la même place. Alors évidemment, je pense que c'est important de le dénoncer, c'est pour ça que je suis là aujourd'hui, c'est important de le dénoncer parce que personne n'a un bon souvenir de l'austérité libérale, on ne veut pas subir sa version 2.0 d'austérité caquiste, et il va falloir le dénoncer pour les freiner. Je pense qu'il est encore temps de freiner le gouvernement dans ses tentatives d'austérité, il doit trouver une façon de, de régler le déficit, mais pas en affaiblissant l'éducation et la santé. Et c'est le message que euh, je vais porter aujourd'hui. Et je m'adresse à, euh, ben, depuis, euh, en fait, plusieurs jours déjà, euh, on recueille des commentaires de gens qui travaillent dans des cégeps, dans des universités, dans les services publics, en santé, dans, partout, pour avoir des témoignages des premières loges de ces coupures-là. Ces coupures-là sont en train d'arriver partout. Alors moi, ce que je dis, c'est si vous entendez ce message-là, bien, allez à servicecoupé.com, donnez-nous votre témoignage, on va s'en servir. Vous pouvez participer à dénoncer l'austérité caquiste en nous donnant ces informations-là. On va faire, on va être le relais de vos aspirations et euh, nous allons les arrêter en chemin. When you speak of austerity, are you targeting uh, CEGEPS and university in particular, or are there other public services that you feel the CAQ has been cutting into? Um, I think uh, that uh, the CEGEP and universities in Quebec are now paying the cost of austerity, but also other schools, the, 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 the educational system in general, and uh, I think also that the healthcare system is, uh, is in danger also. So uh, we, we don't, we now have some um, <clears throat> some stories that we that we are hearing and um, I think that it will just it will just get worse. And when it comes to CEGEPs and universities in particular higher education what kind of an impact uh, do the budget cuts have on on students on staff on the establishments what impact are we looking at? It's a uh, it's very it's very simple it's uh, I heard some students saying, oh, uh, for my uh, French class, I have to uh, buy this book. You know, I have to read it. I will have an exam on that book, but I can't find it. And it's not in the library. The library doesn't have it. So I don't, and we're a couple of students that are in the same uh, situation. Everybody got the old ones from the, the library, uh, uh, the secondhand library, but now there are no left. and we have problems with that. So there's, this is the kind of problem. Another problem is, uh, and I will uh, talk about this uh, today uh, during the interpellation. Um, for example, there is a CEGEP that will not be able to repair an elevator. So that's very problematic because it's, uh, it's creating a discrimination for people who cannot use the stairs. And also it's cre creating so much difficulties for students or professors that have to move uh, heavy things around for their classes. So um, it's, it's quite, uh, it, it's quite uh, troubling. When the government announced the, uh, 
the hikes and tuition for international students in English uh, universities last year, uh, they said that in part this was to help the French university system. Uh, on the ground, are you seeing it have any impact, any positive impact on French universities? Um, I don't see it. What I see right now is uh, budget being cut, so uh, that's all I can see. Uh, I think that um, when they did the last deficit, the last budget, they have they had 11 billions of deficit. I think that this summer they tried to find solutions to uh, create a, a smaller deficit next year. And all they found out to, what to do is to cut in, uh, in the universities and CEGEP and also in the schools. And they will cut also in the healthcare system. So that's their solution, to cut in the services for the people. That's not a good solution. They have to, uh, to raise uh, the, state, the revenue of the states. The, um, the drop in out-of-province uh, students <clears throat> because of the tuition increase for, for McGill and Concordia, they're, they're starting to say that there's projects that they cannot do. And uh, and Dawson also uh, was affected, but uh, by uh, by the by by reductions in its government budget. Um, uh, so you're the, so you're saying the, the 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 austerity effects are already being felt. Yeah. In, in the in the network. Yes, and we have to make sure. Well, the government has to make sure that everybody in Quebec has what he needs to have a good, a proper ed education. Uh, all the needs that are there have to be uh, fulfilled. And that's the responsibility of the government. He cannot say, oh, I'm sorry, we have no money. His job is to find the money to do it. Merci beaucoup. Merci, thank you.